Hello everyone, and welcome back to Scorn. So, I'm right back off where we had left off. Um, we died, unfortunately. Um, so somewhere around here, I should actually be able to unlock the third part of this, like, maze-looking puzzle, and then hopefully- Oh, I see a chicken. Hello there, friend. Oh wow, it survived two shots. That's actually a little surprising. Um, so we will take him out and then I am going to preemptively switch to the big shotgun because if I remember correctly, we were taken out by this guy last time. So let's be ready to go. Oh my gosh, I'm not loaded. Oh, I have no ammo. Okay, well, I was not actually as ready as I thought. Can you sprint while you're reloading, please? Oh my gosh, that was very close, actually. That, uh... Oh, are you serious? Where the heck did you come from? Okay, well... Both of those guys are out, and that'll allow us to progress forward without having to worry about them. I... I would prefer not to fight if we could help it, just because... I mean, we only have limited resources, but... You can't help it sometimes. You, you win some, you lose some. Um, in this case, I would say that that was probably a loss. But on the bright side, they are dead, so they hopefully shouldn't send any more stuff for us down there when we're on our return trip. Because I think what we're going to do here is... In the last episode, there was like this behemoth guy, and we were blowing holes in him. I think we're going to do that some more. Hi there, friend. Oh, aren't you pretty? <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's a switch right here that we can hit, and this will open up a pathway for us uh, down there, unlike the return trip. Man, I, I feel bad stabbing this guy. I have no reason to feel good or bad about what I'm doing to him, but I don't know, it's a sentient creature. Typically you don't want to go ramming giant hunks of metal through those. But I guess survival of the fittest, and in this case, I'm more fit. Oh, where the heck did you come from? I knew that there was a chicken guy, but he was hiding in like those guts, I think. You suck. Alright, well, some ammo here. We are sorely in need of a resupply. We've actually used up literally all of our shots, I think. There we go, and that's a, that's a full reload, so... Let's top off our ammo. just because I don't want to do this. We're a bit slow when it comes to the process of reloading and switching weapons, so I would rather have everything ready to go on the drop of a dime. And... Oh, hello there, friend. Okay, we're out. I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything worth my while. Oh, see, that's the, the being slow thing I was talking about. When you're switching weapons, I was trying to run by him to the right-hand side, and I... I just stood there while it smacked me. Okay, I think what we will do is we'll grab the ammo, because that seems like the smart thing to do. We will switch to the uber shotgun and mess up the the second uh, horse guy. All right, where was the chicken? It was like in the guts here. Is it not going to come out and play this time? Okay, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Alright. Let's go ahead, reload. It's a very unique reload system. It's probably one of the coolest ones I've ever seen in a game. I mean, I know it's it's a little gory, but that's part of the charm. 
All right, bud, get messed up. There we go. Now he's out of the way, and we will just run from the second one that is behind us and save ourselves some ammo. Oh, I, I probably shouldn't have switched weapons now that I think about it, but I guess it didn't matter. I, I get so nervous switching weapons because, my God, is it slow. I guess we do have to, like, if I check this, we are, like, grabbing it from our oop, our helper here, so I guess a little bit of delay is to be expected. Oh, okay, back to this, I would suppose. Oh, there's also an acid guy. That's not a good combo. You know what? You're gonna get blown apart, too. Oh my god, there's a lot of shiitake that they are throwing at us. Okay, the chicken is missing, hitting the wall. Okay, that was not efficient by any means. We actually wasted a fair amount of ammo, but it's worth it we didn't take any damage there, so it's a trade-off. Okay, I'm missing somewhere. Oh, here it was. This doorway inside. Perfect. And that should be all of the parts of the maze puzzle. Um, okay, and then there should be a way to open this up, right? No? Okay, I guess it wants us to go back. All right, and depending on how easy or hard this puzzle is, I might just fast forward the video a bit um, so you don't have to sit here and watch me fumble at it. But if it's easy, I'll just leave it in. Either way, uh, I will show how it works real fast. Not that I really know, but... Okay, so you can... Oh wait, have we not put up one of the sides? I thought that we had put down all three. Or put up all three. Did we miss one? When did... I swore we had gotten all three. Am I just imagining things? Oh, okay, well, I guess we're not doing the maze puzzle right now. I thought that we had gotten two out of three in the last episode, but clearly I misremembered. All right, well, then the one we would have missed would have been on this side. Wait, this is not right. This is going up. We wanted to go down. Yeah, no, this is the wrong direction. This was where we unlocked the, um, the fourth key lock thing. It both is and isn't easy to navigate around here because, I mean, it's all simplistic architecture and it's very linear, but because it's simplistic architecture, it all looks the exact same. So sometimes I run in circles and don't even realize that I'm doing it. All right, okay, so I guess we haven't been down this way yet. I, I swore that I had come down both sides, but I guess not. Alright, so... Oh no, but this is open. Did I just forget to actually send the maze up? Oh, okay. Well, easy mistake to make. Now we can backtrack and actually do the puzzle. All right, problem solved. I thought that we had like a whole nother section that we had to do when I was, I mean, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but also would have slowed us down a tiny little bit. Okay, um, so I think, yeah, as you move it on 
the uh, like mazes, it moves for everybody else. Um, I have no clue which direction I actually should be going, but is this right? <laughs> no, that's that's clearly not actually doing anything for me. If I do this though, spin in a circle. Now we're up here. Does that do anything for us? Oh, if we go down one, we'll actually be able to access. Oh, okay. Easy. Oh, now we're locked in here with the world's largest um, <laughs> escape hole. Oh, we're going up. I don't even know how we're going up because we're inside of this behemoth monster thing. Going up very far. I think we're going back up to the surface of the planet. We haven't been up here since the very beginning when we kind of entered this whole facility. Oh man, I don't like that stuff's falling. That gives me um, vibes that like an enemy is going to pop up or something. Are you an enemy or are you just a mound of guts? Mound of guts. Okay, um... Am I to be interacting with anything? It's giving me that vibe. Hello? Oh, right, I can go up here. I forgot that it's two interconnected pathways. Okay, um, I know I just switched to the drill dough, but I like having the gun because at least I can shoot semi further. I will say though, the distance on this gun, kind of horrible. Like it is, I don't know, it's almost like this is a shotgun and then this is like a uber shotgun, you know? I'm going to jinx myself by saying this, but uh, our friend down below hasn't stabbed us recently. Oh yeah, we definitely are back on the surface. Oh, oh, here we go. Remember that part where I said I'm definitely going to jinx myself? Well, he's, he's giving us a little stabby stab. Ew. I'm amazed we can even walk right now, like, my gosh, looking down at our legs, well, we're kind of blocking them, but having all this stuff poking out of us, the amount of pain that that must be causing, unless this alien species that we are just can't feel pain the same, even though we react in pain, so, I, I don't know, I would assume that we can feel pain, um, but the fact that we can keep going... That's some uh, die-hard dedication right there. You ever get the vibe that the creators of Scorn just really like uh, trains? <laughs> We've spent a lot of time on trains in this game. This is super cool. I, I think we are quickly approaching the end. I, I could be mistaken. Um, but, I don't know, it, it feels like we're approaching an end of sorts. We've escaped from that facility that we were in for the longest time, and we're back on the surface. Man, look at that. That is cool. I wonder if this is a scenario of like... Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That's like an aliens sort of thing. You know, the scientists would come and discover some ancient city that they somehow didn't notice the entire time. Um, I wonder, though, if this is like... 
either we've wandered and stumbled across some alien civilization that's been long abandoned, or if we're like some part of that civilization and something, you know, went terribly wrong um, with all of the station to station. Yeah, we're literally going from train to train. Uh, but yeah, oh, nice squats, bro. Dang. Or I guess lady, that is um, some female uh, appendages. Get a look at that. That is gorgeous. And the game won't explain a thing about what the heck actually happened here. Uh, so pregnancy there. There's been a lot of reference to male and female genitalia. Um, birth has been going on a lot in the background. I don't know if I should be going down this side path or up through the front door, but there's lots of birth references. It's it's a strange one, but it does leave it open to um, interpretation, which I really appreciate. I'm sure the developers had like their own thought of this is how the story of the game goes, but they're not shoving it in our face and saying, okay, this is what happened to this alien civilization. Um, they're saying, hey, here is an abandoned alien civilization. Try and figure out what happened and uh, kind of draw your own connections. And I really like that. Oh, well, they're having some fun. Wow. Uh, okay, then. We got ourselves some uh, kinky a- wow, some kinky aliens up in here. What's going on here? It's General Grievous. Okay, um, this leads down into nothingness. I'm just cutting off paths to see where we actually should be going. I'm, I'm gonna assume up here. But I might be wrong. Oh, actually, there's some of our our buddies here. These are actually some of us. Weird humanoid aliens. I wonder if it's a situation where maybe these aren't aliens at all. Maybe these are like humans thousands upon thousands of years in the future. I don't know. Uh... Like I said, I, I came into this pretty blind, and that's how I wanted to enter it. Um, I had heard about Scorn before, but I didn't want to... I, I like going into games fairly blind, just because that allows me to draw my own connections. And, um... I don't know, it would be pretty cool if this was, like, humans tens of thousands of years in the future, and they've done terrible, terrible things involving birth and, you know, biopunk amalgamation of the flesh type things. Oh, what do we got here? Is this another reload station? Uh, it's not actually letting me interact with this, so I'm guessing we need something else before we can use this. Are we in, by the way, load game? Okay, so we are in Act 5, so this is the last act of the game. Alright, cool. Well, you're making really good progress. Not that I'm trying to rush through it or anything, but... Okay, so I can put that back there if need be. Um, this pathway is closed off. Can I take this vial of blood and jam this in the doorway? Oh, I, I can. I bet you I think I know what this is. I take it back, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a healing station, it was going to draw the blood from that vial, and then we'd be able to use it. 
All right. I suddenly don't feel safe for some reason. Maybe it's the cage of body parts <laughs> that makes me not feel very welcome. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> this uh, this gives me throwbacks to in the original Alien um, when they go aboard the ship and... Whoa. Okay, a little bit of a pressure plate here. Um, they go aboard the ship and they end up uh, finding the alien like in the cockpit. I, I say cockpit, the cockpit-esque section. Um, I don't know, that, that half torn up guy gave me those vibes. All right, let's get some extra heals. It's gearing us up, which means that there is still more combat, which is a little unfortunate. The combat, probably my least favorite portion of this game. Um, it just doesn't feel like it fits all that well. I would have rather this had been an exploration game where you just run around and explore. Um, oh, I'm locked in here. Okay, well, and I can't pick this up. No, so, oh, you know what? I bet you grab one of these things, jam it inside of that body over there. Um, but I would have rather this had just been a full, like, exploration game um, without the combat. Okay, should I be scared? Is this friendly? Are you friendly? Maybe I need a, the second egg as well. Oh my god, I just noticed I wasn't even looking at the actual thing. There's a there's a head in here. There's literally a face inside of these eggs. Okay, well. Astute as always. I uh, I hadn't actually noticed that. I can't Well, actually I can put it back, but Wondering, can I? I can't take this out. So that is like firmly up in there. Oh, you're you're definitely not a threat. You don't even have legs. You have these little nubbins. Do I have to find you a leg? I can grab you one. We've got plenty on display. Do you need some legs, my friend? Oh, there's another egg in there. Okay. And this just opens up that. It doesn't open up this gate. Interesting. Um, we already got the ammo. And there's nowhere else I can jam this head. Can I set it down on the pressure plate for us? No, I can't jam it in there. It was worth a shot. And you don't need a secondary egg? Oh, hey, I can see your intestines. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we're aiming for here. Does that unlock anything? No, it does not. Hmm. All right, um, I'm going to wander around a bit. When I figure out what to do, I will cut right back. So see you all shortly.
Oh, you were supposed to smack it. Oh. Um. Well. That is. Interesting. We smacked a little baby man in the face. Okay then. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this guy? Can I set him down on this? Can he go up here? Or wait, there, there was that one slot over here. Okay, here we go. Get in there, little guy. Oh, we're juicing him. Well, he's gonna pop. <laughs> well, there you go. Alright, we've got a full vial now, which I guess means full access. What about the rest of those eggs? There was, like, more of them. If I put this back now, does it change something? Oh, we, uh, we blew up its face. Okay, we need a new vial. Um, that one ate my last vial, though. So where would we go about getting a new one? It pointed me in this direction afterwards. Maybe it was just trying to get me to look at that, but... Oh, wait, no, it actually does let me... Oh, I do have the vial. Okay. Oh, I bet you if I come back where there'll be a new body because the the thing did leave last time. We'll jam this in here again. Okay, so we're just juicing babies for some reason. Oh yeah, there's a fresh big boy. Oh, and he has legs this time. That's actually concerning. Wait. It gave us ammo and stuff when we entered here. Am I going to have to actually fight this guy? Because uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I mean, I will if I have to. Actually, you know what? Let's set this back down real fast. I want to make sure everything is equipped, ready to go. Okay, that's all loaded. I don't actually know if we're even having a boss fight here, but if we are, you know, I'm going to be prepped. I say boss fight, I don't know what you would characterize it as, an enemy fight. There haven't really been bosses in this game, but this guy has legs, so he might be a problem. Oh yeah, there you go. He's being mean. Those eyes do not say friendship. Oh, Jesus. He just punched me. Excuse me. Um, okay, well then... How do we... Oh, he's got a weak spot on his back. Does he have a gun? I thought I just saw him loading something. Reload. Come on, get another shot or two off in his back there. Switch weapons! Dang it, hurry! Ow! What did he just hit me with? Wow, he's just like smacking me with rocks. Oh no, I take it back. Those are not rocks. Those are explosives. Does he have like a grenade launcher? I want a grenade launcher. Maybe if he dies. Well, no, that's attached to him. I was going to say maybe we can have it, but 
Not really sure how we would take that from him after the fact. Considering, Jesus Christ, okay, do not get close to his punching arm there. Ow. Are you kidding me? Why does getting hit by the shell of the grenade launcher hurt so much? <laughs> I think this is the first game ever that has caused damage to you by getting hit by the, the actual shell itself. All right, um, we are back with the baby. All right, do we have to watch this again or can we skip it? I'm pressing things, it's not letting me skip, so I guess we do it again. All right, let's uh, back away from that punching arm. We'll get uh, back here a bit. Watch the grenades. Come on, uh, come on over, buddy. Did that hit his weak spot? Okay, that did. For a certain. Oh crap! I wasn't. I wasn't lined up properly, son of a... Alright, well, reload. Oh, he's reloading too. Oh, he has to reload, that's good to know. So we should... kind of bait the, the grenade launcher attacks. Because they're easy enough to dodge when you know that they're coming, especially if you're at a distance. Shoot those at me, bud. Okay, there's three. He's reloading. Oh, he really he reloads pretty fast though. Oh, he's shooting through the cage. That's not great. Oh. Um Okay, you try to punch us there. I think we missed a chance, but we were kind of reloading as well. So let's back up, get him to shoot some grenades. But what the heck hurt me there? How many grenades does he actually have? A fair amount. Okay, we're out of ammo for that gun. Okay, this guy's actually pretty easy. He's just time consuming to fight because he's slow. You can just kind of bait his attacks to the side. And he should reload right now. Yep. Oh, there we go. I got him. Oh, wait, no, I take it back. I got that side. I guess he has... You have to get both sides. I should start fainting him to the left, then. That would be smarter, because, uh... Well, we're trying to shoot his left-hand side. Oh. Okay, now is he dead? No. How do we know? Is he going to open up his chest plate now or something? Oh, what's going on? He's He's going down. I'm ready to Oh, no. Go on down, buddy. You're you're done. It's telling me to interact. Oh, do I actually get his weapon? Ow. 
you know, our buddy who's stabbing our chest, he's not being much of a help right now. Oh, you got kind of faster. Oh, you got a fair amount faster. However, this appears to be working. Does he have unlimited ammo now or something? Oh, are you kidding me? That hit me? Oh, too fast. How much ammo do you actually have for this thing now? Like, he's gotta be running low. We're going too fast, he's not shooting at us. Oh, crap, he threw that the wrong direction. Ow. Whoa! How do I mess him up? He just managed to reload, but he kept, like, his plate open the whole time. I wasn't able to... Do I need to blow away that hand? Ow. Son of a... Oh my god, stop hitting me. Give me two seconds to heal. Oh, come on. Really? Nothing hit me there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, he appears to have gotten himself a bit stuck. Here, come over here. Over this way. Or, I mean, if you want to shoot and still be stuck, that works for me, too. Son of a... Okay, they... That is a glitch. I am getting hit by grenades after the explosion has dispersed. Shoot at me, please. Sir? Sir, are you gonna fire at me? Hello, sir? I don't want to get too close. Can I get him unstuck? No, he, he appears pretty dang stuck. Um, okay, let's real quick grab some more ammo. As one does, we will stop in the middle of the fight. Oh, did we only use one bullet, really? I thought that we had probably just need to reload the other uh, gun. Oh yeah, there you go, I hadn't reloaded. Oh, he got unstuck. Oh, wait. That worked. Shoot him in the head. Excuse me, sir. Are you kidding me? I'm out of ammo again? I thought that I literally just reloaded. I don't think I used six bullets that fast. This boss is weird. I'm not sure, like... If I should be shooting him in the head, or what the deal is here. And there's no epic, like, doom music going on. <laughs> this is just a weird boss fight. It's slow. Typically boss fights are, like, way faster. Oh, let's not get hit by that explosion. <laughs> See, like, I got hit by that explosion, but I was nowhere near that explosion. Oh, you're stuck again, my guy. Alright, are you out of ammo? Okay, he's out of ammo, so let's try shooting him in the head again. Oh, well, that got him unstuck, but... Ow, I thought that he was reloading. I did not realize that he was getting ready to punch me. Is, th is this what I'm supposed to be doing? W what is this boss? I don't know how to fight this thing. Like, I feel like I'm just wasting ammo at this point because the game has made a really weird boss fight. There's the last of my, like, super shotgun ammo. Is shooting in the head good? 
Oh my god, you're you're kidding me. I ran out of ammo right as he opened up. I'm out of like I'm out out of ammo. Um I'm probably gonna get smacked if he's not stuck. Oh, he got himself stuck again. What a nerd. This might explode on me. Ow, son of a... <laughs> yeah, I, I will say uh, the combat, definitely the weakest part of this game. Um, not really sure how to feel about it, to be wholly honest. Okay. So I was supposed to be shooting that breastplate this whole time. Or not breastplate, but like the stomach there. Mess up the baby. <laughs> wow, I wasted a lot of ammo there. I didn't know what I was supposed to be shooting. And I shot the head once and the thing opened up, so it made me assume that was what I was supposed to be going after. Alright, well we've got a grenade launcher. Very fancy. And we've got a dead baby. Well, I say baby. Dead fetus monster thing. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. It's a, it's a pile of guts in the shape of a baby. If you've ever seen the film uh, Hellboy, it reminds me, or was it Hellboy 2? One or two, uh, there's a monster that has um, a growth on its neck, and they're like, Hellboy's like, oh, then what a beautiful baby you have. And they're like, that. I'm not a baby, I'm a tumor. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, even better. Oh no, that's only half full. We're not going to have to fight another one, are we? Oh, and we're going to get stabbed right now, because of course we are. My guy, you are not helping in the least bit. Oh, we're... We're stuck on this gun. We can't... We can't change. We're just on grenade launcher mode. Oh, God. We have to fight another one of these things? I don't want to fight another one. Um, now that we have the grenade launcher, can we do something here? We knocked down whatever that was. Okay, so wait. Let me see if I'm getting this right. So we're stuck on this gun, and we have three shots, considering we had to use one there to take down this guy. All right, well, this grenade launcher better uh, mess this guy up, because otherwise we are screwed. Nothing like fighting two bosses in a row. Maybe we'll be lucky and his legs won't work. I'll be it, let's be honest, his legs work. Let's get away from him. He's slow though. He, he's like the other guy in the first phase. And he should reload in a minute. Yeah, I think he should reload now. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was easy. Wait, is that him, like, dead? That quick? Oh yeah, I see a dead baby. <laughs> well, that was easy. Roll on out, buddy. Let's go be made into paste, why don't we? Okay, well, I guess you can take down that guy in less than three grenade launcher shots. 
All right, get juiced. It's not every game where you uh, juice a baby looking thing. Man, we are, we have looked better. Our arms are looking pretty messed up. Oh, please don't stab us again. I don't have it in me to be stabbed again. I've just gone through an ordeal. Well, at least I'm stuck on the grenade launcher and not something else. Um, if I got stuck with like the the drill weapon, we'd be screwed. Oh my god, did I actually forget to grab the vial? Wasting everybody's time. Wait, no, I did grab the vial. What? What are you giving me crap about here, then? What's the issue? Is it this one, or...? Right, I do have the vial. Also, let's heal up. My god, are we low health. Um... Maybe we have to go somewhere else first? Okay, we managed to open up this door. Okay, I get it. We, we don't have the item. You don't have to stare at your hands every time. Oh, gosh. Oh, I see. So that... Oh, ow. He's messing us up. Um... I did not say to take two of those, but it just did it. Oh, and it grew back. Oh, so I just wasted all of that health. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Alright, we need a level 5 lock over there. That's a level 4. We can get in here. Oh, but my hand's covered up. Son of a... We're just gonna blow through health at this rate. Like, really quickly run through health. Some more ammo for our grenade launcher. Okay, I get it, we're regrowing. Man, this is a fair amount of self-mutilation just to, uh... Oh. Oh, I see. Can I... No, I, I need to chomp on my hand even to do this. That is quite the game feature. If I don't have to fight anything else, it's not that big of a deal, but... I am running low on health, and... <laughs> I don't have any more healing items. Okay, upgrade our key real fast. You know, and I mean, this is just a thought, but maybe instead of slicing your hand repeatedly over and over maybe you could I don't know just shoot the thing that's attached to your back just a just a hot take there 
Um, we already did this one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to make a run for it, unless, I, this one's probably closer, actually. So let's stab our hand. Okay, and then we'll run over to that other door, and hopefully there will be some health back here, because we are getting scary levels low. It's weird to think you can totally, like, just screw yourself over if you're not fast enough in this. If there's not enough health items or whatever, there's no way to progress forward. Um, why did I come here? Are you kidding me? I was in here, but I didn't realize that I... Okay, we will go stab our hand again. <laughs> That's That one's on me, um, but like... I'm just getting nervous because we are super low health. I think this is probably, like, we probably have one, maybe two more times in us. Like, one counting this. So, one extra time after this, potentially. Okay, what was the point of this? Oh, there's just my intestines. Okay. Here's our little, uh, our little intruder. Hey, you're coming with me. Alright, if I exit out, will it just hold it for me? Detachment. Okay. <laughs> well, good thing I finally solved this puzzle with, like, no health left. Oh god, I am I am hurt hurt and it's not even showing me my inventory anymore, so I don't know if I can heal. My dude's clearly injured, he's limping. Actually, that's probably a good sign. Um just because if you're limping in a game, typically means that there won't be combat. I mean, famous last words, but... Alright, cool, we... Open it up. Got another pregnant lady. I say lady, I don't... If these are aliens, maybe they don't have male or female the way we do. Um, so... Oh, I know where we are. We're back at the, the entrance. That was the gate I tried to get in originally. Oh god. This hobble step is a little disorienting, to say the least. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just loop our way back in and then we can put this file back in the other one. Couldn't we have, no, hear me out here. Couldn't we have done the little arm stabby thing and then just run the vial? to where we were trying to get it. I mean, it's nice to have that thing gone. It's been stabbing us the entire game. Don't get me wrong, but we are very, very injured. Uh, our organs are not where they are supposed to be. As you can see, we're, uh, we're kind of dangling our intestines out of our, our torso.
Oh. Don't collapse now. You're so close to the end. Just, you know, kind of put the skin flaps back together. We don't have that other creature to uh, hold our inventory for us anymore. So one hand ho has to hold the vial. The other can hold our intestines in. I'm just saying, grab the two skin flaps, kind of hold them shut with your hand, uh, and that'll help hold your intestines in long enough for you to finish up whatever it is we're actually trying to do here. Which I have no clue. Um, Alright. All right, we've got another weird looking thing. Fluid flowing within. Okay, we are back up here. Am I interacting with this guy? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting in like the other guys we found that were in there. So, Was that what I just thought it was? Well, I was not expecting to see that, that's for sure. Um, Alright, future me, remember to uh, edit that in post. Oh, okay, okay. Well, there goes the top of our head. Alright, there's the cap of our skull, I suppose. Are they adding our... Oh, I never made the connection. That's like synapses up there, so... They're adding our consciousness to... Like, this. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't even notice that when I looked at them the first time around, but... Oh, and now I'm one of the, the pregnant ones. So, is this like a, the cycle begins anew sort of thing? Um, I think, I think that one might have been us at the front there, but, or no, this one is clearly us. Um, so this is us, and by allowing ourselves to die here, we're birthing like a new... Um, generation or whatever. It's letting me interact with this. Oh yeah, that's a that's a ding dong, and it, it for whatever reason pulls up. Switch. Oh, so that's what the switch button has been for all along. Okay, and now we're part of like the, the mind network thing. Um, okay, what, what good does that do for us? Man, this guy has seen better days, that is for sure. <laughs> it, just adding insult to injury, this robot keeps lightly stabbing him in the stomach. 
Can I interact with this in mind meld mode? Um, oh, whoops. I did not mean to switch back again. I'm like walking. Oh wait, there because there's two of us apparently. Okay. So one of them's carrying him. All right, I'm going to have to move out of the way. I see. I thought that we were like switching to him in the connection up there or whatever. Oh, she doesn't have one of the things. Is this not the way we're supposed to go? Oh no, I bet ya. She's gotta get one. Well, this is gonna hurt, ma'am. Actually, she didn't react in pain at all. Um, when that guy got stabbed, he uh, bled and, you know, was clearly in pain. This lady didn't react in the least bit. Okay, I, I think he's dead, robot. You don't have to keep stabbing him. It's not letting me turn anymore, by the way, so... I guess whatever we need to see is straight ahead. That is pretty cool looking, though, I'm not gonna lie. We are getting very, very slow. We're just stunned by the awe of all of this. All right. Okay, well, just got flashbanged. Very nice. Oh, that thing's back. Excuse me, sir, you are ruining everything. Is, is that the end? Huh. Okay, so what I think happened here is we had a society that was built around like cycles of individuals. So the men would go through all of this hardship. The men in the society would go through all of this hardship um, to work to basically allow the women to become pregnant in this case what on earth is he doing down there he's like spreading his corruption or whatever um so like what we were doing the whole time was we were working to basically bring about the rebirth of our species um along the way uh we were fighting some sort of corruption i would assume uh i don't think the monsters we were fighting nor the thing that was attached to us like that's some sort of uh invasive species on this planet it seems um which has been messing with the cycle but basically the the men would die um which would then allow the women to recreate and keep the cycle going and then a new factor wasn't you know brought about that's these weird alien things um and they were they were killing us off and that's why the whole society has kind of fallen apart would be my guess um i could be a hundred percent wrong um i'm not claiming to be correct at all um but that's that's my take on it from what i i've picked up contextually but 
I don't know. I'd be interested to hear what you all think um, was going on in there. Uh, that was a really fun game. Uh, very, very unique in how it's presented. My only complaint with it, the combat, little rough. But, you know, it was bearable. I made it through, obviously. So... Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and we play plenty more series where we do weird, wacky, zany stuff like we did in this one. All right. I hope you all have a good one. Bye.